and speak up Unique a little since New I'm going to be walking. Uh, this is awkward. I don't like it. Can we do it again? Yeah. Hey everybody, it's Megan and Garrett from JustTodayInParadise.com. Today we are checking out Charred Bistro. They began as a butcher shop called Jimmy P's in Naples and then they expanded to a restaurant just next door called Chard Steakhouse, very well renowned for its meats even before they opened the restaurant. Now they have a bistro which is more about shareable items. We've been to the first restaurant, what did you think? Yeah, I loved it. I had a cheesesteak. I'm pretty sure you had a French dip or something mm -hmm. like that. Delicious. Amazing. Really, really good. Uh, I know this is a little bit more kind of fancy-ish. So uh, why don't we go inside and check it out? Oh, I yeah. think Steph's in there, so let's go find it. Let's do it. Jimmy P's is known around Southwest Florida for having superior meats and delectable dining experiences. We're eager to try their latest bistro concept. The bistro, Chad Bistro. When you first walk in, you're greeted by an altar of sorts, teasing you with all the culinary encounters you're about to have. The dining room is intimate, warm, and classy without the pomp and circumstance of traditional steakhouses. Each menu item is enticing and the hardest part is making a decision for the first course. I think we'd be dumb not to try the A5 Trilogy. Cheers to round one. We got a warm bread surprise with house-made butter. Oh my god. It's like... I love when butter also has oil. It's like... It's perfect. It's good. You can taste like kind of sweetness of the cherries, but also like teeny a little bit of tart from the lemon. But it's also like savory tasting. Very, very good. Going in on this butter. The flavors are gonna hit you at different times, you know? It's very good. You can definitely tell it's house made. It's got like a, a nice, fresh creaminess that store bought butter could never have. The cherry does give a little bit of sweetness. I like the lemon. It's complex. The wine and beer list is extensive and our server made a few suggestions based on our tastes. We opted for a beer flight that combined local and craft beers. This no, is the yeah. mango cart. It's a wheat beer with a little bit of mango. Here we go. It's very light. You can definitely taste the mango. It doesn't drink like a beer, so if like you're a big beer fan, it might not be for you, but I'm not, so it's definitely for me. Okay, so I'm really excited about this because, you know, Garrett and I like to try our special beers, and they make this one. This is a charred lager, so if you see in-house brewing, Looks pretty nice and light, which I like. Ooh, it's very, it's very nice. It's when I thought lager, I thought maybe it would be a little heavier, but this is really delicious. Look at that. There she is, the crown jewel of appetizers: Japanese wagyu served Mediterranean, tonkatsu, and blackened. Quite literally, picture perfect. We are also going to be sharing the charred octopus with Kalamata lemon puree and quinoa tabbouleh. This is what I've been the most excited about because I've never had Wagyu A5. Never had A5 Wagyu. Wagyu. Never had A5 Wagyu. We get to try it in three different ways, so I think it's the best way to do it. And this is the Mediterranean style. It is literally melts in your mouth with steak. I was like worried that it wouldn't be like so much far above steak I've had before, but it, it is, it, it absolutely is. So this is like, uh, 
Japanese frying style. So kind of like quick fry, you know, they just drop it in there, take it right out. You know, it's really, really rare. And it has this Japanese barbecue sauce with it. Uh, so this is the second round of the trio. And I'm gonna go ahead and try it. I'm gonna try the whole thing. It's got that kind of that, the breading on it and everything. But God, it's, it's really good. Look at all these little babies. Oh, it's a bunch of baby steaks. So I see parsley. I see shallot. I see meat and some type of maybe vinaigrette or something on top. These were all good. I feel like you can taste it the most, you know? Like it really lets the meat be the star of the show. I'm gonna take another bite before Garrett gets it. Really good. Now it's octopus time. I've had octopus a little bit, and last time I was pretty disappointed, so. <laughs> that made up for it. The thing about octopus is you can overcook it so quickly. This is perfectly cooked. Definitely smoky. But somehow refreshing. It's like, yeah. those flavors don't usually go hand in hand. Yeah. I love octopus. So I usually don't eat it because they're highly intelligent. They're more intelligent than us, mostly. But so am I. It's really good. The like sauce with the microgreens. What I love is like everything has sauce, but also it, the sauce lets the meat still kind of be the star of the show. Like they're just good compliments. Well, that, that's it's not that's hiding anything. You know what I mean? Now on to the Kurabuda potstickers with house-made kimchi and exo sauce. And then the pan-roasted bone marrow with short rib marmalade, grilled crostini, and watercress salad. So this is the Kurabuda potstickers with a mushroom soy broth paired on top of a kimchi. So here's the kimchi I'm nabbing. There's the pot sticker. I love pot stickers. Love them. I think I need more kimchi. Yeah. Love kimchi. Basically, I love everything about this dish, and I'm super excited. There's no way I'm not gonna like it. And here we go. Should I like take a bite or just do it all? I'm gonna do it all. <laughs> Megan always takes the longest to start talking. The inside talk is like seasoned perfectly. They definitely knew what to pair it with. It's perfect. Okay guys, I really need you to pay attention for this one. The bone marrow has everything. Short rib marmalade. Where have you been all my life? Bone marrow with the short rib and some kind of sauce. I've never had bone marrow, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel. If I don't like it, I don't blame Char. Let's see what happens. If you like the fat part of the steak, you will like bone marrow. The sauce that they have it with is like sweet and savory. Really good, like a brown sauce, almost like a mushroomy sauce. It's very like rich and meaty. I love it. Uh, so I've had bone marrow a few times, but it's typically like they just bring you some bones and toast. Uh, but this has so many different elements. It has uh, a green on top, it has onions, blackberries, this like gravy, and I wanna say it's like short rib kind of mixed into the marrow. So I'm gonna take a bite. Here it goes. It's the best bone marrow I've ever had. And you know why? Because I think because there's so many flavors mixed in, I would get this like as an entree. You know what I mean? Like it's very, very satisfying. It's, it's almost like French onion soup tasting. Really, really good. 10 out of 10. Love it. Bone marrow is like meat butter. So if you like meat and, and butter, butter you're, you'll, meat? you'll never eat anything else. Oh, wait. I think that the Japanese A5 trilogy is a must. I think that if you are coming here to have a steak experience, you'd be dumb not to try because you get it three different ways and it's the best of the best. 
I would have it again. I've already tried it. Now, it was delicious. All three of them. They oh, yeah. Were very, very delicious. But the thing that stood out to me the most, it was the octopus. It was so perfectly cooked. The sauce, the greens on top of it and everything just made it fresh, but it was also like smoky. Oh God. It, it was delicious. A salad can be a palate cleanser, right? This deconstructed wedge with house-made bacon was also an easily shareable crowd pleaser. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the main event paired beautifully with a flight of sauces. We have the miso yaki sea bass, number seven New York strip with truffled goat cheese butter, and the surf and turf. So this is the miso yaki sea bass. Um, first of all, it's huge. Not only is it beautiful, but it's a great portion. And it's got like a, a it's in like a bath of sauce. And I really love sauce. And it smells so good for me even trying it. So I'm gonna have it straight up, I think, and not yet try the sauce. So let's do it, um, it like, you know, no, no knife necessary. It just comes right off. I love sea bass. That is like the butteriest sea bass I've ever had. It's delicious. All right, so this is the New York strip, the uh, number seven. Oh, I'm losing the goat cheese. Mm. Truffle goat cheese. The truffle. <laughs> the truffle goat cheese butter. It's just enough. It's not overpowering the steak at all. Which I think has been true in all of their dishes. So our waitress suggested that we dip the scallop in the Bernays. Here we go. Megan is allergic, so she doesn't get to taste these. Driver's scallops have that bite, you know, like that meaty sweetness. It's almost like if you had your eyes closed, it would have the same um, like texture of like a filet, like a perfect like meaty bite. And they're a little sweet. They've got like the the char on top. Show that lemon. It's gonna be really lemony. Honestly, I want to just come alone by myself and have the bone marrow and the scallops and like a curtain and just eat just until yeah and just a bib and no one has to know what happened behind the curtain really good try and save room for dessert because these tasty treats did not disappoint either The cookie skillet was the perfect balance of sweet and salty and is sure to please everybody in your group. Very hot. The pot de creme was topped with fresh whipped cream and burst in your mouth strawberry pearls. Very rich chocolate, like kind of thick. It's like premium frozen hot cocoa. It's cold. It's not frozen. It's just cold and really thick. See, that, that's the best way I can describe it. Maybe not the right texture, but the right flavor. Um, oh, it's so good. But I really only have room for one more bite. Okay, two. All right, find one more. Also guys, we have to shout out this incredible staff. This was hands down some of the most knowledgeable and attentive service we've ever received. You can tell they love what they're doing here. And shout out to superfan Lois. You must, must come to JP's Charred Bistro.
So we just finished up at Chard Bistro and wow, they hit every mark. Service, presentation, flavor, portion, like everything was everything we wanted it to be. When we were offered dessert, we were like, we really shouldn't. We're so full. We got two desserts and we finished. Clear the plates. Everything is phenomenal. Clear the plates. Uh, Rochelle was our server and she knew everything, the background of the ingredients. Where the cows were born. Into it. Yeah, where the cows were born. You can tell she's really passionate and truly enjoys the food as much as we did. Again, I just want to say this, I may have already said it, but the miso yaki sea bass is one of the best meals I've ever had anywhere. Thank you, Chef Jeff. <laughs> now make sure to like and subscribe and uh, so you can see a lot more videos like this and see where we're going next. If you can't make it in, get some meat shipped right to your door. Check the show notes for a link to their butcher shop and deli.